Hello there, my name is Blake, also known as The Nerd, and welcome to my island in Animal Crossing New Horizons, Coast of Nerd. I've been wanting to make a tour video like this for a while, but unfortunately things in life have been catching up to me. Uh, in real life, I've had situations, well not situations, just a lot of things happening. And in the video game world, tons of video games that kind of stop me from doing the full on tour of my island. But I decided to actually do the tour this time, which is... Great, because there's not been a whole lot of things been going on uh, in the game itself. There hasn't been any new updates. Ooh, I just saw a butterfly there. And originally, I want to do like a um, commentary video where I take like each stop and like um, commentate around because you know sometimes I blink out, but other times I just carry on for too long. But I figured I'd just do it this way to make it a little bit quicker. Anyways, let's take a look at the residents that are on my island. So we have Audie, we have Raymond, we have Poppy, Eric, Pietro, Apollo, Chai, who is the newest one alongside Marshall, Octavian, and Fauna. You're going to see they're actually split into two areas on the left side and the right side of the island. Basically kind of making it like miniature neighborhoods of sorts. And if you guys don't mind, I'm actually going to go ahead and go to the right instead of the left, or basically clockwise. You'll see why I do that in just a second. But... Take a look at this magnificent fountain at the very start. Actually based on the area at Disneyland, you know, where there's like tiny uh, little statues around the big statue of Walt and Mickey. It's not really big, but you know, it's a statue of Walt and Mickey Mouse. I was actually inspired by that, so I wanted to do it with actual bugs and uh, shark statues. Or just rather fish statues, because the only isn't actually a shark. But that's the main highlight I want to show off before we head back to the city, because trust me, we're going to be heading back here. But I do again want to start off from the right and make my way all the way to the left. Oh, there's Adi there. So, the rest of it is in here are Pietro, Eric, who actually had his birthday yesterday. Apollo's there as well. We have Adi, we have Raymond, and we have Chai. So that basically makes five of the ten residents here. Oh, I thought Adi actually wanted to talk me, thank goodness. And they're all sitting around this little lake, which is good for them for fishing, or just hanging out and sitting, chilling, and or they have a bathing suit just swimming. Although other neighbors from the other area will also come out by here as well. And you'll notice that each resident has a specific item based on their personality or their colors, etc. Or based on their animals. As you can see with Raymond's, he has a cat toy because obviously he has a cat. And Chai has this cinema... cinema bun? I'm sorry, I'm not into Sanrio, so correct me if I have this name wrong. Cinema bun? I think it's called. Uh, the little sign thing uh, that was part of the... I almost said Animal Crossing, the Sanrio update. Again. Not into the whole San real world and whatnot. And of course a balloon for Pietro. And actually Eric has a few things in here. He likes to color because he unleashes his inner childhood. He likes to color, he likes the little food, it's such cute ones like the ones you see on that little booth, which actually used to be on the left side here, but I moved it over to his house and then his clothesline is here. But if you head up here, you actually have our very first spa. There's actually only a couple. But this is the one that's the most decorated. It's got beautiful waterfall walls and a nice view of the bamboo area we'll be going to later on. We also have a koi on here and in the background we have, I don't know what it's called, the, the, the frog, Kakarobi? I think it's Kakarobi? Yeah, I think it's Kakarobi. We have a little screen, music playing right now. I can't remember what's playing in here. I think it's, I think it's one of the, it's, what is it, the 2001? Marine Song 2001, that's what it is. And it's got a nice cherry blossom theme to it as well. You can sit here, and you can wait for you to turn in the hot tub. We also have two of them. One of them being the tour. And of course, the bathrobe to keep you cozy and dry after said time in the hot tub. But now, let's head over to the area, more so on the right. We'll go ahead and take the stairs up here. Because we have the bottom section of this waterfall. Again, you can kind of see the top. I definitely put in perspective as a main mindset for this, um, for my island. A lot of orange flowers here. It's uh, There's a little treasure island that's not guarded by a turtle. The turtle is just there. Like, it's his home, but the treasure happens to also be in his home. And unless you have digging rights, you can't actually get to that. So don't even try uh, going for the treasure. And, uh, wait, do you, do you see something? Hold on. Oof, okay, that's creepy. Yeah, we're, we're getting out of here fast. Assuming that I don't get hit by any of the bamboo. Now, let's keep on going right, because there really isn't... Oh, I did not pick this up. Hold on. I need to check what this is. Probably something I already have. It's from Klaus. I don't have basement flooring? <laughs> okay. 
for some reason, okay, we're gonna we're 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 taking a quick detour. I thought I didn't have basement flooring. <laughs> That's hilarious. So keep going to the right here and all the way to the top. You have what I call the ancient artifacts of Costa Nerd before it was actually inhabited uh, by myself. These are just recently dug up. So we have what appears to be an ancient civilization. Uh, evidence in the form of a fossil with a, what looks like a mammoth villager, could have been a mammoth villager. We also have uh, some artifacts, we got a cannon here, we got a barrels right next to a lighthouse, which I just added. I know it's not the most ancient thing out there, but it's pretty ancient. We also have some horseshoe crabs lying around. If you actually touch them, they'll lay on their back. It kind of reminds me of uh, Kabuto's fainting animation from Pokemon Stadium. We have a little Stonehenge over here, we got a fake artifact here, but it actually looks like it's real and blue. Kind of gives it a nice mysterious thing. And some torches over there. Oh, also we have a homage to uh, Homer Simpson. Uh, yeah, Homer Simpson. He's got the donuts and everything. Actually, when I tour people around my island, like from streams and whatnot, this is my usually go-to place because no one expects Homer Simpson at all. It's just a thing that really catches people off guard. Let me know in the comment section below if I actually caught you off guard with that because I might have and if I did, then my job is completely successful. All right, now let's make our way over to the left side. Actually, we won't go to the left. We'll actually go straight to the middle since... Wait, actually, no, 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 no. I almost forgot about a couple things over here. <laughs> Man, I'm really good ahead of myself. So right here is our little carnival. You can get some shaved ice. You can get some ice cream. You can get your hands on some fortune cookies. You can have your fortune told. Or you can do a nice little magic trick of your own. We also have our only ride in the beach carnival, which is the teacup ride. But you can get yourself some cotton candy, some popcorn, or have yourself entertained by a little um, ramp machine. So it's pretty cool. And in case you're sick and tired of all the entertainment, you have a bench to where you can sit down and uh, just relax from all the entertainment because that's all you need. Now the beaches here don't really have anything in particular except surfboards and beach areas. But for those of you who love to fish, we got you covered. Your only fishing area that you ever need, so that way you can throw your bait, you can fish, and you can grab more bait and use our exclusive fishing rods over here, which is very, very nice. Oh, and you need to craft um, some fish bait because you always gotta craft some fish bait. We have a nice, convenient crafting tool for you right there. All right, so you might have noticed a little path over to the left of the carnival a bit, actually behind the carnival, but to the left. Hop down here and you'll have yourself a little secret area, which is our Outdoor beach tiki bar of sorts. Well, not of sorts. This is actually a bar, but it's kind of like a beach bar and whatnot. So you could just sit, chill, listen to some music. Can I get you a drink? What you craving? Shamrock shake or um? I know this is supposed to be an espresso blender, but uh, trust me, it, it doesn't actually brew blenders. And if you want to feel a little vibrant, you can actually play our lovely piano as well. We also have some music acts during the night as well, for those of you who can stop by the Secret Cove. And of course you can go fishing, but uh, I wouldn't recommend fishing while you're under um, the influence of... This is a Nintendo game. Um, under the influence of very bad juice. Yeah, we, we gotta keep it friendly for the children who, who still play Animal Crossing. <laughs> Alright, so let's head back to the city part of the island now. Uh, we've already covered the statue. I will cover the restaurant at a later point, so keep that in mind. We have the Evil Sisters over here, and behind we have Nook's Cranny. Thank goodness I actually remember that. Uh, we have tools. These are only here in case people are in the dream area. They can go exploring with the ladder and the vaulting pole to go across some areas. And the ladder, which I will probably use since I forgot my ladder, but I, will, I promise you guys I will bring that back. Got some vending machines in case you're hungry and or thirsty, and of course this is all around Tom Nook's area because of course they want you to spend more money than just what's inside their store. And of course this is all conveniently right behind the town hall where Tom Nook and Isabel take charge of everything, and heading right up here is actually a pathway to another area. I should be at this camera angle. But also, speaking of angles, check it out, we got a pagoda. Very nice. We also have this nice beautiful garden archway, not archway, there is not an arch. <laughs> beautiful path just full of different kinds of flowers you could walk across. I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. Well, time to move this a bit so like no one else could do that. <laughs> well now you know the kind of the secret, but 
this takes you all the way over here to our playground, where the kids can have some fun with some horses, a sandbox, a little jungle gym, a little slide, and some tires to hop across. You know, the good old kids stuff. Remember when we were kids, we used to do that? Good times. Good times. There's some flowers I missed in the process. It actually rained uh, one of the days, but uh, that's enough about that. How about a nice picnic? Underneath the peach tree. Beautiful Japanese tradition peach tree and peach picnic. Man, I do miss the cherry blossom season now that I think about it, but it is, it's there. We also have a bathroom, climbing wall, which we wouldn't recommend going up there. Actually, I'm surprised there is not, not a ceiling or anything like that that, you know, people can climb over to get to the other area where there's like those purple roses. Oh well, it is what it is. Alright, so that is it for over there. Let's head down and we're actually gonna head to the left of the town hall. Where there's Marshall, he's meditating. Or no, he's he's just stretching and doing yoga and whatnot. Uh, but right here is one of the benches that allows you to get a nice view of the waterfall. And actually, we'll get to the museum in full in just a sec, but you have a nice view of the waterfall as well as some stat uh, lion statues. I almost said statue of lions, but either way it's the same one. But here is the museum up here. Yes, I'm fully aware there's something else since if I'm right there. But if you take the camera this way, you can see it's a very nice display with a waterfall and lion statues and lights to light it up. And you have a little bit of pre uh, you have a little bit of preview displays. You have an ant exhibit and a little shrimp exhibit. And the museum here is 100% complete, meaning it has all the fossils, all the sea creatures, all the bugs, and all the artwork. So if you do come by and visit, be sure to check out the museum because it is to the full. All right, I'm done beating the bush here. This is a casino. Club Costa, the casino. And yes, this is how <laughs> a vast majority of our money is made. <laughs> Through the use of villager gambling. Ah, I love how I don't say the, the naughty thing, but then I say gambling. Oops, uh, Nintendo, please don't come after me. Um, but yeah, you could just chill out. You could try your best in getting what is supposed to be the three skunks, right? They're skunks. And this is also modeled based off of a casino in Las Vegas, which explains the gold statue right here. Now, how lucky am I? Uh, not lucky. Uh, what about now? Oh, come on. I, I felt like I was pretty close. What about now? Oh, come on. Uh, now? Uh, now. Oh, wait. Those aren't skunks. Those are penguins, I just realized. All right. Screw that machine. I'm gonna go this one. Oh, come on. This one? Oh, come on. There's two Isabels. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. Come on. I'm getting two Isabels again. Oh my gosh. This machine. Uh, well, how about the ones that isn't working? Oh, I was so close. Oh, oh, we got it, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. Let's go. <laughs> All it takes is a few pushes. You know what? I'm going to keep that there as a proud display for our achievements. But yep, that is the little casino and it's funny it's right next to nook's cranny and it's also next to a resident so i feel bad for our lovely resident octavian who wants to sit through all that disco music at night <laughs> he probably has like earplugs or something but speaking of let's head over to the left side but let's go to the bottom of it first since there are some cool important aspects of this uh poppy what do you want wait why didn't you call me alone pop follow up or something unimportant uh get the makeup hard time facing um I think it should deliver because uh, I'm giving people a T O U R. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, someone just distracted me from this tour. Gosh darn it. I am fully aware. I talked to my neighbors. Thank you for that. I have 205,000 of these. Oh my gosh. Anyways, that's enough of an unnecessary detour. Over here, we have ourselves a DIY area. So basically, you can grab whatever DIYs you need. Uh, so, for example, we have golden gears, we have a signpost. If you have any DIYs, or if you don't have any of the DIYs here, you're more than welcome to come down here and grab a uh, DIY to see if you have it or not. And likewise, if you have any DIYs you want to give, you can uh, exchange those as well. We do uh, exchanges as well as free giveaways and whatnot. Uh, a couple of surfboards here, and over on this side, we have Poppy cutely looking at a butterfly. But we have our outdoor gym. We have a bunch of uh, treadmills, we have some weights, we got some exercise bikes, I almost forgot what those are called. We have a little 
whole bar, and we got some little punching bags and speedos, and you, and a little bit of water, which is actually inspired by my gym in my gated community that I'm currently in right now. They actually have a little uh, water cup area where you can go grab and get some water, so you don't need to bring a water bottle, but I always do anyways. And of course, after a good workout, you need to just sit down and relax, right? That's what that's there for. Oh, and can't forget your protein chair, uh, your protein. I can't believe I messed it up. Protein shakes right there. And there's Marshall's house, and right next to it is Poppy, and it has a little bridge that connects them together. Isn't that cute? I think it's actually adorable. Alright, so this is much more organized than the other one. It doesn't have a lake, but it does have a campfire, so for those who are around this neighborhood, they can get some warmth instead of, like, fishing. But they're nearby a beach as well, so they don't have to. Apollo's over here, and then Fauna is over there. And we obviously visited Octavians, who has a gong. I need to ring that real quick. There we go. Everything is satisfied. Also, I don't know why, but my program sometimes does that. I need to, like, uh... Well, my thing is frozen. I don't I don't actually know what's going on. Sometimes it does freeze up. It's the program itself. I don't know why it's doing that, but I'm going to assume it's still recording. <laughs> so this is my house over here. We're going to get to that later. My DIY crafting table over here. And here is a little concert area, a little concert stage, which has basically a bunch of instruments because that's what a concert is. It's basically instruments. Blake, you're over-exaggerating. <laughs> Above here we have an arcade which has some fighting games, some puzzle games, a shooter game, a pinball machine, and darts. And right down here is a hot tub. And uh, yes, there's a pool in my backyard. I know, very hard to tell, but actually I think from this angle you might be able to see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it a little bit better. And of course, apple tree because apples are my favorite fruit. Wow, uh, so now the program decides to lot, not like a freeze in terms of the audio thing. I hope it gets everything. Otherwise, I may have to redo this, but I'll, I'll test it out and see. And uh, we also have an 11th villager. His name is Charles. He loves toasted marshmallows and uh, coconut water. That's all he needs. He doesn't need a house or anything like that. And he's actually right behind our diving area, which is a simple hop across the water. And with an anchor, I'll tell you where to dive. Pretty cool. Not the highest one, but it does the diving job pretty well. Um, not an important tour over here, but... We do have a ping pong table as well as a pool table in case you're interested in playing either one of those alongside a bench because you may get exhausted playing those. And normally, oh, I did have a ladder. Well, shoot, <laughs> I grabbed that for nothing. Guess I'll have to deposit that later. But right here is the secret throne. Usually I say this for last, but you get a nice view of the whole sky. You get a view of what's behind us, etc. And it shows who is really royalty in this whole island. It's not Tom Nook. You're looking at him. You're looking at true royalty. Anyways, let's go over behind here to our campsite. Which is completely natural. No sign of any... Well, there is some chairs and campfires and whatnot. But mostly, it's, in, it's for you to get in touch with nature. We got some weeds, got some flowers, got a stick. It's my stick. And we got some toy bugs to kind of really replicate the fact that you're part of nature itself. And actually, beaches also come with some really cool things. You have a picnic area, in the beach area, actually a couple of them. And then a nice viewing chair with one of your lovely turtle friends. And of course, a place to dry off your fish in case you need to go fishing and you need uh, to dry off before you cook. But actually, let's follow this path right here. Um, yeah, we're just going to ignore that boulder. <laughs> That boulder should not be there. I don't know why that's there. I tried responding to boulders so many places. It's usually on the path. I'm going to have to like get rid of that at some point so that way uh, the path is clear for when I update this dream address because I'm going to be doing that. But hit down. Actually, I skipped over a lot of things. Let's go back to. <laughs> Let's start off in this area because beforehand this really has nothing except for a bench and a telescope for you to see the moon. But come over here, and I believe on this side. Welcome to the Lover's Cove. You have a nice white bench surrounded by pink and white roses. You have a lovely music of stale cupcakes. Pretty romantic. And you got a shell fountain looking over the beach. It's really romantic with someone else, but it can be romantic by yourself too. I mean, heck, I would listen to this music to kind of gaze into the beach myself if I had the chance. 
as weird as it sounds. But over here we have kind of a Wonderland themed area. It's not much of a big area, but it is Wonderland themed. A lot of mushrooms, green glowing deer, we have some butterflies, and of course, mushrooms you could sit on as well. That matches the yellow one, which is really interesting. And here we have a mushroom table. It has tea and candles because, uh, of course, many Wonderland in inspiration. Gotta have tea in there. But head down here, we have what I call our cliffside restaurant. Here you can get served some lovely cake, you can have some water, you can have some grapes, you can have some soup and lobster. Don't tell Frank yet, he's about to be served in the next meal. Oh, and pizza too. Oh, hello, uh, what, what's that down there? Is that Miku? <laughs> oh, I think I found a hidden Miku on the island. Anyone else know that? Let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> Anyways, let's make our way up here even more. Uh, back here, there's a little pipe there. Kind of interesting. Kind of reminds me of Mario Sunshine, that's how it's over there. Don't know how to, how to get there, though. That's pretty interesting. But let's take a look at our farm, which is mostly a pumpkin area. It's got some chickens, though. And, of course, this is where we gather for the pumpkins. These are green mums, but I made them look like grass, which I think is uh, kind of clever. And then we have had extra lilies of the valleys. So for those of you who don't know, Every time your island has five stars, every week it'll produce new lilies of the valley. So that means that we have a bunch of them in here. It's been five stars consistently. Oh! Uh. <laughs> what? No, Sahara, you can't do that in the wedding area. That is, that, no, that is nasty. Okay, so this is the wedding area. Oh my gosh, Sahara, I can't believe you did that. So... You have lovely wedding vows, you have a cake right here. You're... Don't do that in the wedding area! That is... No! You're disgusting. Ah, uh, but lovely harp. We have a Cinderella-inspired carriage. So that way, after the wedding, you can go visit. You can go off and do your happily ever after. It's, it's nice it's because it's near the farm as well as near the beach. Uh, but I heard a certain fox comes over here as well, so that can make things just as awkward. If that happens to be there, because if it's running and there's a boat there, probably people are going to want to visit that, and uh, I don't think that fox does perceptions. There's a little path here. I'll see what Elisa's to. Nice, Elisa's to the Pakoda all the way over here, and yep, yep, there it is again. Nice little fountain too, or not fountain, wishing well. But you remember the spa area? This is where the top of that wall is, or at least one of the waterfall walls. But let's head over to the right. And here we have probably my favorite area in the whole island. Let's bring the gong so that we, uh, we can respect our, or pay respect to those who passed away. And here is the spa in the middle of a waterfall. Beautiful, beautiful bamboo blossoms as well as a lot of lily at the valleys. Uh, actually, I originally didn't have all um, just all Lily of the Valleys. That was something uh, a friend of mine, Ms. Gana Chris, you might have seen her in my E3 vlog, and I think that's about it. When she, uh, when I toured her the island before all this happened, she suggested that I include all these Lily of the Valleys, so whenever I got one, it would be up here. Of course, I decided to also mix it in with some of the, uh, the clovers, the flowers, and the rocks, kind of make it as beautiful as possible, and honestly, Cannot be beat. This is absolutely one of my favorite areas in the whole game. Or at least in my island. Uh, but with that, unfortunately I can't really make a shortcut back unless I want to like destroy things and then uh, I came back. Because I made this so that way it's not as successful in on ladders and whatnot. So yeah, good luck with that. Also, Sahara, I will never forgive you for doing that in front of the wedding area. <laughs> I get you, you're probably lonely, but come on, to do that at a wedding is like the most disgusting thing anyone can do. Okay, so, unless I missed anything else, I think that's it for the outside area of the island. Let me see if I missed anything else, I don't think I did. Not that I can know, not that I know of, not that I see here, so I think we're good. So with that, I bet you guys are hungry. Let's head over to that, uh, that restaurant I was talking about earlier, maybe grab some lunch. Like some dinner, depending on when you're watching this, you may never know. But uh, I should warn you, this restaurant actually has five different kinds of restaurants. Let me make sure. Uh, actually, no. There's four different kinds of restaurants, and then there's like a cafe and a bakery. 
So let's go in and let you decide what you want. And of course, I'll give you a tour of all of the restaurant locations. And fun fact, this actually get, got the gold trophy before my house did. Proof right there. So welcome to the main area of the Far Layer Diner, or the three layer restaurants of choice. So we have a 50s diner known for the classic burgers, the Coca-Cola, and of course, some good old rock and roll 50s music. And probably one of the few things people want to remember about the 50s. Uh, I hope. <laughs> But yeah, it's got nice 50 aesthetics. I believe the song that's playing right now is KK Rock and Roll. I believe. Yeah. Oh, Rockabilly. Is that right? Rockabilly? KK Rockabilly, yeah. KK Rockabilly. And yeah, the light fixtures are actually just little studio lights, which makes it even more uh, aesthetic. So we have also some retro things as well. Of course, I wanted to go with uh, music or like little music albums that kind of look as retro as possible to kind of fit with the whole theme. And for the most part, I think I got pretty much everything. And of course, you can't have a 50s dining well without someone like autographing saying, hey, your burgers are good. Or at least the ones I visit have that. Uh, is burgers not really a thing? Uh, let's go to the left. Maybe you'll like um, some coffee and some cake or something like that over at the cafe and bakery. Which has the music playing as the theme to Animal Crossing New Horizons or... Welcome Horizons. <laughs> I should have known. So this is our little cafe slash bakery area. If you need a cake, you head over here, but if you want some nice coffee, you always head to the right. And I see over there so you can enjoy some cake and some coffee with it. But cake isn't only our specialty in the bakery. We also provide cookies, breads, and all your classic bakery goods and needs. We also have some cafe signs, mostly of coffee and coffee. We also have some notable awards as well as little decorations. Kind of indicate that this is a very high class coffee store. And you're guaranteed the best coffee as well as the best cakes. And of course, who could forget Animal Crossing New Horizons one year anniversary. I think it's time to blow this out before it sets the whole thing on fire. <sighs> there we go. Ah, so I guess coffee wasn't your thing either. Okay, well, there's still plenty of other choices. Let's head over to the right and maybe you're craving some, um, some non-Nintendo <laughs> approved drinks at our lovely sports bar. I can't believe you haven't seen that before, but yeah, that was sports bar. Basically, you're all of your sporty bars and needs and whatnot. You got some nice benches over here. You got a pinball machine. Uh, careful when you're playing this under the influence of the bad things I can't say at a Nintendo game because, uh, yeah, I'm not responsible for any damage. And you can just sit back in either benches over here, grab a drink or one of our uh, little sofas here. Sit back, watch some TV, and enjoy some sports, or in this case, whatever this is. Listen, I'm not in charge of the TV stations over here. That's that's Tom Nook's thing. And apparently he wants to watch uh, whatever this is, a talk show? Man, Nook does not have any taste when it comes to TV. Man, jeez Louise. Really wish I was in charge, because I could have actually played some sports. Oh, and KK Fusion's playing. At least uh, I make up for the fact that he's playing whatever this is with music and still sports aesthetics as well. <sighs> really? I thought this would have been your favorite thing. Okay, well, luckily there's still two other places that we can go to. Uh, so how about we head downstairs to possibly one of my favorite restaurants in this whole area? And one that is based on fancy and elegant Chinese cuisine. Man, I said that really too fast. But welcome to the Chinese restaurant. A whole bunch of Chinese aesthetics for your Chinese food uh, consuming a pleasure. Got a little Chinese food menu over there and trying to make it as Chinese as possible. I actually did this on a Twitch stream. This whole restaurant thing, uh, what is the name of this by the way? Imperial KK, that's what I thought. Uh, this whole thing was actually done by myself alongside Twitch members, or not Twitch members, but Twitch viewers who were able to interact and come up with this. And I think honestly, again, this is one of my favorite things in all of Animal Crossing, in terms of my island restaurant-wise. It's just so beautiful. I really put a lot of work in this one, and I'm super proud of it. Well, okay, since uh, Chinese food isn't your thing, burgers isn't your thing, coffee and cake and, or, um, or drinks, one last place after this again, and maybe this will satisfy your needs. Welcome to the most expensive part of the island, 
the Skyline Restaurant. And if you're wondering the price, about 5 million bills. Yeah, Tom Nook is not that cheap. <laughs> but here you have a nice, lovely view of the skyline. You have candles. And look at that. You also have a nice view of the moon as well. Very nice. Looks like the moon follows you in all the places too, because look at that. You have a moon over there. And quite possibly, oh yeah, there's the moon right behind us. The moon is very, very nice and respectful. Uh, the foodie kit here is very fancy and of course very expensive because food on the skyline probably like one of the most expensive things you can get in today's standards and of course the music accommodating us if i could go over to this area unfortunately i'm gonna have to skip around some benches here for some chairs is driving kind of fits the whole fancy slash um city view vibe which i really do like Well, I think it's enough bon appetit. Let me go ahead and make you some things in the kitchen. And feel free to come with me too if you like, because um, I think I'll like this kitchen just as much as you like pretty much everything else about the whole area. Welcome to the kitchen. This is where a lot of food is prepped, uh, ranging from, again, Chinese food to coffee to cakes to pretty much everything. And actually a little hint is, or not a little hint, but fun little trivia is, I wanna make sure you get a little bit of subtle hints to each area in this restaurant, or in this kitchen portion of the restaurant. So for example, the mixer here represents the cafe slash bakery area. This rice cooker represents the Chinese restaurant area. Very nice rice. The, I don't know what dish this is, represents the fancy restaurant area. And then for the bar, I haven't really thought of that before, but I guess this fridge could count as a bar since it is pretty much the same color as the bar anyways. But yeah, there's also some other foods. Cars can be returned over here where the employees can wash dishes and whatnot. They get a nice little bulletin board to remind them of their schedules as well as phone in case they need to pick up any orders or call or pick up any calls for orders. I cannot word. I thought I was doing my wording in the kitchen, but I guess that all fails. It's like, it's true what they say. Once what says in the kitchen is always in the kitchen. No, wait, wait, wait. That that's what Vegas. Never mind. But we'll, we'll just pretend it was also with the kitchen, okay? All right. So with that I think it's time for the grand finale of this whole tour. And let's head over to my house, where I'll show you guys everything about it. And trust me, you're going to love my home. Not gonna toot my own horn or anything like that, but I think you'll find some really cool things about it. I'm excited, are you guys? Because uh, I have a huge smile on my face. But welcome to the living room. Basically kind of like a cozy, elegant living room. They might find from like rich people or even those from like ye old times. You got nice little old decorations of cool a last pirate ship. You got an old book over here. You got a little piano, which you could play to your heart's content. I have a lovely photo over here and gold trophy, which this house took so long to get the gold trophy that I had to display it as soon as I got it. Also nice voice crack. But take a look at the photos. These represent the current residents of the island. No, is any, does any of them ring a bell? But also, the paintings on the wall represent each area of the house. So here we have an exotic land. Over here, even though it's a home, it represents kind of like a little gym area and whatnot. And then, you gotta have food in the kitchen. That's what it represents. But also, let's take the camera up here where you might have noticed something a little earlier. These in the back represent the early residents of the island. We have Goose, we have... I can't even remember the gorilla's name. <laughs> She's that forgettable. Tiffany, Pashmina, and Flora. Rocket, that's the gorilla's name. <laughs> Man, I'm so terrible with that, I'm sorry. But those were the residents of the past. And we have Tom Nook and Timmy Nook over here as well. We're gonna Isabel so I can get that in there, but I don't know where she would fit to be honest. But overall, very nice looking living room. And I think it's a true welcoming area to the home. How about I grab you something in the kitchen here? Ooh, also I apologize. I don't know if I'm scratching my head so much. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but welcome to the cabin kitchen. 
This is actually based on my hometown of Big Bear Lake in California. A lot of it is cabiny, so you have some cabiny kitchen, you got yourself some cabiny food, like a pizza in the cabin, you got yourself some whatever this is in the kitchen. I might as well heat this up. This has been it looks it looks pretty cold. We got a fridge over here. We got hunting. I've been hunting for these giant bugs. And over on this side, we have some country albums. Believe it or not, minus the KK Slider one, which is KK Country, which is also what's playing right now, we have two actual albums of real country artists. Toby Keith and Alan Jackson. I almost forgot the other one. Wait, that's not Toby Keith. Never mind. Ah, dang, I always forget that one. I, I, I definitely know for sure that the other one is Alan Jackson, but usually I have to look at my phone anyways just to see what that is. Uh, let's see. This is a song now that kind of gives us a name. Ooh, I know, I know, I know. I'm not, I'm not going to play the song. I just need to know. Trust me, I know my country. This is just the detour once again. Brad Paisley. That is Brad Paisley. Not Toby Keith, but Brad Paisley. <laughs> again, I know my country albums. It just takes a while whenever I'm recording, apparently. You have some coffee if you want. Or I guess we should continue on with the tour, shouldn't we? We'll talk about coffee later at a later point, I guess. So now that you know the kitchen, Let's head over to the back for the little exotic thing I was talking about. And if you're a weeb, you might like this one because this is this kicks your uh, your inner weebiness. Because we have an oriental back room. We have all the Japanese aesthetics. We got komodos. We got samurai swords. We got noodles. Can't have a Japanese place without noodles. We got some tea and of course the gold lucky cat. And currently, what's playing is King KK. I forgot this isn't this is my actual room, so like you could choose the song if you want to. But yeah. Everything here, minus a few things like that lamp turn over there, very Japanesey because I love myself some Japanese culture. I think actually it's probably one of my favorite cultures to not only learn about, but just also the gush over. It's so good, it's it's beautiful. And yes, you're more than welcome to call me a weeb in the comments. This this gives you full permission to do that. Okay, let's actually go to the right room. This is the gym that I was talking about a little bit earlier, but it's also a combination of a gym and a bathroom. With a golden toilet, because I gotta show up how rich I am after all that gambling. I mean, what? No, that, 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 that money totally, totally goes towards helping the island out. But uh, here's my personal gym, so I, I basically have two gyms here, but it's got my own personal treadmill, personal weights, personal exercise bike, and a place to go changing in case you need to work out and use the bathroom. And of course, you can't forget your protein shakes as well, and uh, I have not win myself. I probably should do that at some point, but um, go toilets, got a shower as well, so it's a nice hybrid. I'm sorry, I just, I just had to go real badly, so uh, you, you, might, you don't mind waiting for me out here, right? Actually, I lied. I, I don't really need it to go. I, I just want to make sure you were, you were paying attention and that I really needed it. To go when I didn't. My wording is not that good today. All right, time for the last stop, and that is my bedroom. Oh my gosh, my head is itching. I need to stop doing that. Here, there isn't really any special themes unless you're counting like a TV over here and a couple computers. It's kind of like my recording studio because, of course, part of me is also a Let's Player and a streamer, so I gotta uh, base that in the real world. Um, but most of it is just like animal decorations of a sea little camp that got two of the switches. Got a pet frog, got a pet koi, got a pet tarantula, and got a pet turtle. Yeah, a lot of feeding, but I, I think they're fine for the most part. Uh, did I feed the sea elephant actually? I'll need to do that at some point. But uh, I also have a lot of trophies here. I have some gold trophies, some bronze trophies. Look at all these trophies that I have. I'm an award winner on my island. And also, I am an amiibo collector because most of these poster CC are actually from amiibo as well as some friendly help from a, a few folks that may have actually gotten different kinds of uh, amiibo that I don't have. I also have a Poppy photo. Okay, weirdly, weirdly enough, favorite villager of mine is Fauna, but I have more Poppy photos than I do Fauna, which is, again, really, really weird. But also, we have some custom art here that kind of represent myself not only as a person, but also for the channel. 
we have Mewtwo, my all-time favorite Pokemon, Linoon, who is now the mascot of the channel. <laughs> But we refer to him as Koko. He's got a it's got a twitch emote as well. We have, of course, Hatsune Miku and one of my waifus, Megurine Luka. To re kind of represent my uh, my Miku side because uh, apparently my YouTube channel is very known for Miku stuff. Well, not apparently. I've known that, but a lot of my channel is mo is a uh, dedicated to Miku as well. And that's about it for my house. Wait, what? What do you mean basement? No, I'm just, I'm sorry. That is strictly off limits. You 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 seriously want to go there that bad? <sighs> Fine. Just promise you to forget about this. All right. All right. Welcome to the basement, or as I like to call it, the security room. Plenty of security cameras to ensure that there is nothing wrong with the island. I was given the task by Tom Nook to actually look over the island while also uh, keeping it as spiffy as possible. It is one of my jobs. So yeah, we also have a bench here. Kind of a reference to the Matrix, which is actually very, very cool. We have a phone booth, we have this thing, which floats around, which is really cool. We also have my mansion shrimp, guarding one of my locks, as well as this one over here. A couple servers, we got a laptop that has some hacking access to it and whatnot. And a couple boards to kind of plan out and make sure, like, in case anything back goes wrong, I always have things planned out. Because, of course, when you need to look out for your island, you gotta do whatever you can, alright? So, now we forget about this whole thing, right? Wait, wh what do you mean, pipe? It's not a pipe. You're really sneaky, aren't you? Fine. But don't tell anyone else about this. And believe it or not, this actually lands on the secret island that I was referring to this whole time. It's got a nice little palm tree, and it's basically my little getaway from all this. And of course, you had to go to the basement in order to get over here. And it's secret too, because no one else ever knows. And hopefully none of my villagers find out about this video, thus they know about this as well, and don't want to come in here for any particular reason. Because that would be embarrassing to the both of us! Now, wouldn't it? For them to know. Alright, let's get out of here before Tom Nooks finds out about this. Tom Nooks? Just Tom Nook. Alright. Now you promise me, you will forget about that, right? Good. Because I do not want my precision to be taken away by Tom Nook and eventually- and probably get kicked out of this island. But with that, that is all of Costa Nerd. I think it pretty much covered everything. If I missed anything, then... Uh, I shouldn't have because that was pretty much everything. But that is, for now, the final video of my Animal Crossing New Horizons series. I'm actually very glad to have wrapped all this up now. Or, I don't know why I said that as a past tense. I'm glad to be wrapping it up right now. Because at this point, it doesn't feel like there's going to be any major updates to Animal Crossing. I know by the time recording this, they have announced like a small update. And that is just the fireworks thing and whatnot, but... We've basically seen this before, or we've seen the fires before, <laughs> and with the addition of Cotton Candy, I guess it's good to some people, but like for me, that doesn't really intrigue me to actually come back to it. I want like a big update that kind of gives me reason to not only go back to this, but also to make videos, so I really need to get myself the oomph to come back to here, but this is by far my island, and I absolutely love it. I love everything I've done with it, from the statues, to the minor details, like the patterns in the floor to kind of prevent like weeds and whatnot from spawning in there and like fossils and whatnot, but also make it very unique to giving each islander or each villager on the island their uh, own little decoration to kind of give them a little bit of home as well as making it pretty close neighborhoods, especially the restaurant, I think is my favorite thing in all the island. And of course I can't forget my house. Uh, but with that, I think that's it for now for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Unless, again, there's, like, major updates, and it'd be nice if they had, like, a major update so I could go back to this. But, until that point, thank you all for tuning in to the Animal Crossing New Horizons series. This was really fun to do, and I can't believe for a year I did all this. And this has been a huge, big, major uh, Let's Play project I wanted to do. And originally this is going to be the final one, but I am also doing Doki Doki Literature Club on that, so... This won't be the final one for sure, but 
It's a big one nonetheless. Not as big as like the other ones from 2019, but still, it's pretty big. Anyways, I'm rambling on. Thank you all for tuning into this series, and I hope to see you guys in a future video. So until we meet again, do remember to take care. Also, for the people who are still commenting how to sit, there you go, I'm freaking sitting, that's how you do it, it's that simple. Anyways, take care everyone.